I said, get out of the water! It's getting late! We're supposed to be home by now! Psh, you're not the boss of me! Mom and Dad put me in charge! I literally am the boss of you! Whatever, bossy butt. Mm. Mm. Well, you're braver than I am. I wouldn't want to be out this late with you-know-who around. Who's that? Oh, I assumed you've heard of the Ghost Bison? The what? You heard me! The Ghost Bison! A phantom buffalo that haunts the living world, hunting for a poor soul to take with him back to his spectral realm. And his favorite prey is foxes that like playing in water. That's so specific! You're obviously making it up! Am I? Uh, are you? Well, why don't you ask him? No way! <sighs> <gasps> what terrible creature could be doing this to our livestock? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, phew! It's just a furry! What? I'm not a furry! Hey, it's cool, bro. I don't judge. It's nothing to be ashamed of. I am not a furry! Do you even know what a furry is? Well, I don't know too much about it. I've never actually met one before. I said I'm not a furry! Yeah, I know. Just needed time to load. Oh, shoot. Brilliant choice of words. Jeez, Tommy, stop eating like that. It's disgusting. What, were you raised by wolves? Hmm? Now, Hannah, if you want to use a fork, that's perfectly fine. But you know saying something like that is very... Honey, where are you going? I just... need a moment. I just don't get it. What are we doing wrong? Why does she hate us? She doesn't. She's just... been through a lot. We have to be patient. She'll come around eventually. We try so hard to show her we care, but all we get back is constant insults and disrespect. Were you raised by wolves? Seriously? It's just, it gets hard sometimes, you know? I know, but hey, nobody ever said foster care would be easy. We knew what we were getting ourselves into. She needs us. Um, sorry kids for leaving like that. <gasps> Ah. Ah. Oh. What if humans flirted like animals? Birds. Many birds are known to perform creative dances to attract a mate. Wow, sick moves, dude. Let's make babies. Galapagos giant tortoise. Females will pick the male that can stretch its neck the farthest. Oh. You clearly have the longer neck. Man, I'm never gonna get a girlfriend. Curse my genetics. Black Widow Spiders. The male will directly approach the significantly larger female. After that, the female will either accept the male as their mate. Uh, hi there. I was just wondering if m maybe you wanna go out sometime? Like, a date? or she'll just eat him. Oh, come on! I bought flowers and everything! Penguins. In many penguin species, the male will present the female with a pebble. If she accepts the pebble, they become mates. Hey, check out this cool rock I found. You want it? Ooh, yes please. You're my wife now. Okay. Sloths. The female sloth will simply climb a tree <laughs> and scream until a male finds her. Aye, aye, aye. And then I was all more like Tyrannosaurus. Carl, stop. Yeah, lame joke, sorry. No, look. Oh, dear lord. Just back. Away. 
slowly. Run! Run! Tara, hurry! They're catching up! Oh, I can't run any faster! Whoa! Tara, no! Three! Ouch! What the heck, lady? Why'd you bite me? Because you're trying to kill me! Oh, right. Well, let go! No! Get your claw out of my neck! First, let go of my arm! First, you get your claw out of my neck! Arm! Claw! Arm! Claw! Wait, I... I think we're in quicksand! Oh no, you're right! Quick, get your claw out! We've still got time to escape! Okay, okay! But let go of my arm first! Claw! Arm! Claw! Arm! Claw! Arm! You humans call me the Chaos Bringer, the Doom Monger, the Beast of Destruction. Your king has sent entire platoons of soldiers to bring him my severed head. But all they return with is the ashes of their fallen comrades. Knight after hero after warrior have tried and failed to slay me. So I ask you... W why does everyone hate me? Uh, are you crying? I mind my own business in a cave on top of a freaking mountain in the middle of nowhere! But you people keep coming to my house and trying to kill me! Then you call me a monster? For what? Defending myself? Oh, wow, uh... Nice to see you again, Dora. But I've got business to attend. What happened to you, Diego? How can you, of all people, do something like this? <laughs> it's simple, really. I grew up, learned the real money wasn't in saving them, but selling them. I've got a buyer in the States ready to pay 50 grand for this kitty alone. I make more in one year selling exotic pets than I ever did in conservation. Since when was it about the money? You loved animals! After everything you've done for them? Exactly! After everything I've done for them, I devoted my life to protecting animals. And how do they repay me? I'm letting you go this time, cousin. But interfere with my business again, and I swear I'll give you cicatrices even worse than mine. Cicatrices means scars in Spanish. Can you say cicatrices? She should have a normal pet, like a cat or a dog. What's so wrong with a snake? It's a snake! That's what's wrong! How is she going to make friends with other little girls when her pet is a big slimy snake? They'll call her mean names like... like... Snake Girl! Snake Girl? That's the worst you could come up with? Kids are better at name calling! But why do I gotta be the one to tell her? Because you're the one who said she could get it! Irrelevant. Tom! Uh, fine. But she's gonna be real sad about it. Later. Guys, I'm home! And I bought ice cream in case someone's feeling... Sad. Tom? You're building in a bigger cage? He has a name. It's Mr. Noodle. And it's not a cage, it's an enclosure. It's called Snacktopia! What? We can always tear it down. Besides, now Mr. Noodle has plenty of room. But that wasn't the plan, honey. In fact, there's probably enough room for two more snakes. No! No, 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 no! Why do us woodpeckers spend all day pecking on trees? Is it merely to find bugs? 
Perhaps we do it to leave our marks on these mighty trees because we know they'll last long after we're gone. A crude sign to show the world that we were here, that we lived. Or maybe it's to fulfill our role as the steady drumbeat of this beautiful forest symphony. Perhaps, deep down, we hope someone will hear our echoing drumbeat and be filled with mysterious wonder, granting some sort of greater meaning to our lives through recognition from another. It's for bugs. Sorry, I don't know where I was going with all that, but yeah, the answer is bugs. Thanks for watching. Check the latest episode and also playlist with similar episodes like this one. See you in the next video.